Let's talk about spaghetti vongole. Spaghetti vongole basically is any pasta you want with clams. And it's really simply like moule marinière with pasta is essentially what we're making. It's kind of a lovely addition for that Feast of the Seven Fishes that happens on Christmas Eve. It's something I actually showed Lynn how to make many, many years ago. And the year that I showed Lynn, it was a, one of those great, funny holiday days that we talk about where like uh, random people came to pick things up or what, and it became sort of a crazy party. And we made, we made spaghetti vongole. Anyways, try this, it's very easy. When you buy clams, um, if you can go down to the dock to buy clams, obviously that's ideal. Uh, if you go to your store to buy clams, please make sure that they don't smell and that they're closed. When you bring them home, do not put them on ice. It's the same thing with mussels and the same thing with oysters. Put them open in a, in a dish with a cloth over them and they'll breathe. Now the thing is, you should not cook them more than two days after you buy them. And the way that you see if they're okay is when you tap the shell, if it closes. If they're slightly open, it's okay. But if you tap the shell and it closes the shell, that's okay. If it does not close the shell, do not eat it. Throw it out. Hence, my advice to buy twice as many shellfish as you need because of this, uh, the deaths. Now here's the other thing is they have grit. Okay, so you wanna scrub them because they have dirt on them from the ocean. These are um, cockles, which are a kind of clam. And uh, these are sustained, I researched it in the shop. And after I bought them, what did I do? I tipped my fishmonger, monger, monger, monger. So you wanna look for closed, very closed, you know, and clean, closed tight. And I'll show you an open one in a minute. So he's open, right? So I go like this. He's dead. He's a goner. You don't take a risk with that stuff. If, it, if it's slightly slow or it's hesitant, throw it out. You guys know about the clam contest? I never told you about the clam contest. On the vineyard, when I was a little girl, there was a, a neighbor called Michael Eberstadt. So if you're there, Michael, I'm about to tell the story. And there was a, a snack bar that was connected to I'm just gonna say it, to the Yacht Club. And we had, we could sign for lunch there. And you know, it was expected that you had a hamburger and a Coke, okay? Now I loved clams. I, I could put some clams away. I was probably 12. So I decided I was gonna have a clam eating contest. And the best other clam eater was Michael Everstadt. And I said, okay, loser pays, loser signs just like an 80s, except it was a 70s movie. Uh, everybody came, like the Bad News Bears or whatever, to watch us do this thing. We proceeded to start eating clams. Michael Everstadt ate 11 dozen clams, and I went past him and I ate 15 dozen, just to make sure that he knew who won. Michael Everstadt then signed his name. Well, what do you think happens 45 minutes later, is my dad gets a phone call from Mr. Everstadt saying, what the hell is this bill that they just called me from the snack bar? So it, the bill was like 180, you know, 200 bucks, which was a lot of money in uh, 74. So uh, I got in huge, massive trouble. I was grounded for, I think the rest of the summer. And poor Michael Everstadt was also grounded. And, uh, just want to make sure that he remembers that not only did I beat him, but I went four dozen past him. So I'm going to prepare the mise en place to make this because it's quite rapid. It's basically kind of the amount of time that it takes your, your linguine, your, your, your spaghetti to boil. In this case, Dechecco, which is one of my favorite brands, they're telling you it's 10 to 12 minutes. All right, so basically that once this goes in, then we'll start cooking it. So we wanna have mise en place. First thing I'm gonna do is chiffonade some flat leaf parsley. 
and some tarragon I'm gonna leave whole. And I just wanna show off my new Falcon enamelware mise en place. Hello. I'm gonna leave this whole because I want that tarragon to beautifully perfume the sauce. This has been cleaned and dried. I roll it into a cigar, sort of, fold it, and turn it like this, and this is how you chiffonade. This we're gonna throw in right before service. So I'm just gonna put this in one corner of my beautiful little bowl there. This uh, onion is from my garden. These are just little cubes of onion. So basically you're just gonna, you're gonna fry off some onion and garlic if you can stomach garlic. I don't cook with garlic because I selfishly cannot eat it. So I have my little mise en place. I have some butter that I wanna use. So I'm gonna put it on my mise en place like this. And the reason we do this is so you can do this. And you can transport your whole deal to the stove. I'm just gonna start the onions and then I'm gonna drop the pasta. So, hot pan, olive oil. That's right. Just gonna start the onions. I like the sound of that. For once, it's hot enough, Nicholas. It's a little bit of salt. And um, I'm now gonna drop the linguine. I'm just gonna make one serving. Uh, your pasta should always have room to swim. That's an important pasta rule. If your pasta is bumping up against other pasta, you're gonna have a problem. Okay, that's gonna cook for approximately 10 minutes. We're gonna time it just because I wanna time this because the, the clams will cook in like three minutes. I'm just going to deglaze with a little vermouth, my favorite cooking liquid. You could use a, Italian white if you wanted to stay Italian. I'm gonna crack a little pepper. Um, I wanna go back and say, you really should put garlic in this just because I can't digest it is irrelevant. It should have finely chopped garlic in it. I'm gonna put a little more liquid in here because we're about to kind of go for it with the clams. Come on, little fellers. Time to die. Let's make it quick, shall we? Starting to open. Let that go for a couple minutes. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. Ah, see that clam? He is ready to be eaten. See that clam? Open, open. The ones that don't open after a reasonable amount of time, throw them out. I'm gonna put in some tarragon now. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna push these to the side slightly. And the clams are falling out, which is fine. If you see a totally empty shell, that you can remove. Okay, here we go. Pasta, pasta, with a little pasta water. Okay, you wanna kind of finish the pasta in that beautiful yumminess. First of all, I'm gonna try a piece. Oh, it's very hot. <laughs> a little bit of pepper. You can overcook the clams, but not really. You know, it's a sauce, so it's like, yeah, they're a little bullety, it's okay. Nobody's gonna care because of the garlic you've put in, the wine, you know, all of this delicious stuff. Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna pick up pasta, like this. Very restauranty. I'm arranging the clams sort of around our dish. I'm just trying to get the little bits of onion because that's where all your yummy flavor is. Now I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of butter in the middle so that it's super yummy. And then I'm gonna sprinkle this parsley over it. Spaghetti vongole. Mangia cresce. Eat and grow. Just want to make sure that he remembers that not only did I beat him, but I went four dozen past him. 